right now, though. We say good morning once again to Russ, who's live at the beautiful new library in San Francisco. Oh, it is Harris. beautiful, too. And uh, Frank, mm -hmm. I got the answer for you. It's 2.3 million. For what? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had asked me yesterday how many drywall screws oh. they used in the construction <laughs> of, the, of the library here. 2.3 million. And something like 3,000 gallons of paint to do the really? place. Uh, 3,500 light fixtures. Hmm. And as I mentioned earlier, these walls that have this beautiful mocha finish to it, uh, how they did it is by using uh, Starbucks coffee. But so I'm, I, I'm sorry, Ross, I want to know, if can you smell the coffee still? No, you can't. Oh, okay. Although we have a Starbucks uh, cart or something across the street, and I, I do have my cup. <laughs> but they, they mixed in some uh, French dark roast, and it, it's, people think I'm kidding when I say it. And it gives that just the wonderful mocha look to it. Also here at the uh, new library, they have some special chairs that were designed specifically for, uh, for San Francisco by Dakota Jackson, who is a furniture manufacturer back in New York. And they had to meet a criteria. They couldn't be too much money, and they had to be comfortable, and they had to be long-lasting, and they had to be durable, and all that kind of thing. They have the armless. They have the ones with the arm, and then they have an upholstered one, which I was sitting in uh, earlier. But they're very, I mean, it's very comfortable. And they've got them scattered throughout the library. And they've got little nooks and crannies where you can go and kind of be alone and, and read and browse. And um, not only is this a place uh, for knowledge, it really is a meeting place in San Francisco. $135 million it cost. Actually, a bond issue was passed in 1988. And $104 million was okayed by the residents of San Francisco. So then they had to make up the difference of about $35 million. And two of the people responsible for that were Charlotte and her late husband, Mel Swig. She is also the one who is in charge of the big opening day. She is the party giver in San Francisco. And I'm going to talk to Charlotte in just a moment. So um, you'll be watching that. Okay, Sal, how are we doing in traffic? Welcome back to Mornings on Two. I'm at the uh, new public library, the main public library in San Francisco. And with me is Charlotte Maillard-Swig, who is responsible for the big opening, the grand opening today. And Sherry Thomas, who is executive director of the Library Foundation. Welcome to you both. Congratulations. It is a beautiful building. It, it's more than I could have ever expected. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And the outside, well, it, well, we'll show some pictures of it in just a moment. I want to ask you, first of all, is there any significance to having the opening day on the 90th anniversary of the 1906 earthquake? Well, it maybe just happened. However, as you know, uh, the city hall used to be on this site. I would have had a gold dome on it. And uh, in that building housed the library. Oh, I and, didn't know uh, that. So the big and quake came, the uh, city hall came down, and the, the only books we had were smoldering. So I think it's significant that we're, we're opening today. And not only that, this is the most earthquake safe building in the city right now, so. I think it's got a standard, what, 8.3? 8.3. 8. 8. 8. 8. So you want to know where to meet your sweetie? Come to the library. This is the place to do it. <laughs> this is, a, and I mentioned earlier, not only a place for knowledge and to browse and, and for learning, it is a meeting place. It has a lot of meeting rooms that, uh, meeting rooms that were uh, donated and the money's raised from uh, community groups. There's a Latino uh, a community center here where people can gather, as well as many other rooms. Well, there's an African-American, there's gay and lesbian exactly. center, and, and uh, the Latino, Hispanic yeah. uh, center and all. And an auditorium and a whole teleconferencing facility. Let's show a little video that we've taken so people get a better idea. Here's the outside of the new library, and this is a brand new building, isn't it? And it's designed to fit in with Civic Center. This is the last intact square in the Beaux-Arts tradition. So this is, and then a dramatically modern interior. You see the atrium and all, and then we've got the computers, some like 300 sites well, for our computers. Well, computers, 300 computers for the public. And then if you bring your own, you can also plug it into any desk. Oh, so if you bring your laptop and all. If, yeah. Ah, that's nice. So these, is this where the desks are that you plugged in that we exactly. just saw with the lights over them? Yeah. And these computers are in the children's center. And as you know, children can work these things as well as uh, maybe better than some adults, right? Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I'm intimidated by my computer, and I see what kids can do. Yeah, see the little chairs for the kids. And the whole center was designed from a kid's perspective. They, they, they blew it up and looked at it from the child's level point of view and designed all the furniture from that perspective. And Charlotte and Sherry promised they'd take the plastic off those chairs before uh, you come in here at 10 o'clock. <laughs> This morning. Then we have, uh, this is the auditorium. This was donated by the Corrette Foundation. It seats, uh, what, about 240, 50 people. And there will be lectures and uh, uh, programs that uh, obviously are all free, as this library is. And community groups can use the auditorium for free. 
Now, do you have to be a San Francisco resident? What's this here? Oh, it oh, looks like a coffee oh, shop. Well, you've got to eat to read, right? Well, read it, to eat? never in the libraries <laughs> I was in, either in school or college, did they have a coffee shop in there. Well, this is San Francisco, and this is a whole, and different, it's a whole library different world. Cafe. Yeah, it is. Cappuccinos on demand. Isn't this beautiful? Grand staircase. And that's the reading room, the great reading room up on the fifth floor. It's just a beautiful space. I was saying, uh, er, it was 7 o'clock when we went on, I felt like I was walking into a Hyatt hotel, into the atrium. <laughs> you know how you, at the Hyatt Regency, you look up and you see all the floors and it's beautiful? It's, uh, it's, well, it's, what, a, it's, it's that a, feel you get here. It's a wonderful space. Uh, I think people are going to be very surprised when they come in, as everybody that has been here so far uh, has been. It's uh, an extraordinary uh, space. Where is the librarian saying, shh? <laughs> for all the boys in the, in the background. Do you have to be a resident of San Francisco to use this library? Absolutely not. If you li have a valid California driver's license, you can get a library card and you can get it at home or office on the internet. So you can use this library from wherever you're sitting. Right. Today's opening day, 10 o'clock is the opening hour. Anybody can come down here. I, I know it's free. It, it's absolutely free. And then uh, all day long we have, uh, so that there aren't lines, we have a system set up so people can get tickets that designate a certain hour. So if you come to the, uh, if when you come to the opening day at 10 o'clock, uh, you can go to a kiosk and get a ticket that says 3 o'clock, go off and have lunch and come back. And uh, we think we will facilitate that's so you're not in line. That's a good idea. So, so you don't, don't have, have to wait in line, in line and you'll know you can get in when you want to come. And then come back on Sunday for family day. Every kid in the Bay Area is invited to come down that's for, for a you. big celebration. Yeah, I will. If I have a family out there, I don't know about right now. I'm I was trouble. just thinking of you. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll come down if you promise to be here. I'll be here. It is a gorgeous, magnificent building. It's seven floors full of uh, knowledge and computers and uh, bright lights and coffee. And it's a wonderful feeling here at the new main library in San Francisco. Thank you to both of you and congratulations again. You've done a great job. Everybody has. Right. Time now is 25 minutes after eight. On this 90th anniversary of the Great Quake, San Francisco officially opened a new main library to rave reviews. On the same side of the old city hall, destroyed in 1906, the ground stood still and even the weather cooperated for this morning's grand opening ceremonies. Hundreds of people turned out under sunny skies and heard city officials call the new main a library for the 21st century. Imagine, we have crowd control experts here, police and barricades, and thousands of people seeking to see and touch, not a movie star, a singer, or a king, but a new library. It is designed, most of all, to be a building for people and for people communicating. Bring the soul to the library with your presence. Welcome, enjoy, access, discover, and be empowered through information, knowledge, learning, and the joy of reading. You can call it your library. You can say, this is the Lee Family Library, this is the O'Leary Family Library, the Hernandez, the Smiths, and the Jones. This is a dream come true, as only it can in San Francisco and America. There is. It was left to Mayor Willie Brown to preside over the actual opening of the library, and it was no simple ceremony. With a jet circling overhead, a skydiver descended into Civic Center Plaza. Mayor Brown told the crowd that he had forgotten his key, and he thanked the parachutist for delivering the ceremonial key that was used to officially open the library's front doors for the first time. Mayor Brown called it a great day, saying the new library is a commitment to the future. And it's inscribed with the words literacy. It represents the symbol of an opportunity being extended to all to use the library. Use the library for knowledge, use the library for enjoyment, but above all else, use the main library. Moments later, the front doors of the library were unlocked, and the general public got its first look inside the seven-story tall, $137 million structure. Its crowning feature is a soaring atrium. Aesthetics aside, the library contains one million books, 300 computers, a children's room with educational software, and reading rooms dedicated to various ethnic literature. Because of crowd control, a free ticket available at the library will be needed to get in this weekend. Mayor Brown said the opening of the new library completes the development of the Civic Center area, which began shortly after the Great Quake leveled the area 90 years ago today.